what is going on traders welcome back to the traveling trader happy tuesday to you so today i wanted to go over bitcoin's price obviously and i wanted to talk about the relationship between oil gold and stocks especially as it relates to the potential unrest in the middle east because this will have implications on all of those assets and commodities bitcoin just broke the eight thousand dollar mark which is great to see we will potentially see a little bit of resistance here and i'll tell you why but here is my my uh, my outlook for where Bitcoin is potentially going to end up in the short term and I've talked about this you know over and over again in the last few videos and for those of you that are new to the channel this will seem like new information but for those of you that have been around for a while you'll recognize some of my analysis points here but Bitcoin has been in this long descending trend since July that's over six months now as we hit support and resistance multiple times this trend is definitely a valid one because of how many touch points we have at support and at resistance right now you know my thoughts on on Bitcoin especially with the having coming up later this year and the trend that it is forming the descending channel tends to break to the upside most of the time that is the likeliest scenario most of the time when we have these descending channels especially ones that are formed over a long period of time and i said previously that i do think we'll hit the resistance of this descending channel soon and it's be just because of the double bottoms and bullish patterns such as the adam and eve's that have been forming at the support of this descending channel and what happens after that so back in july 2019 you have the adam and eve pattern touched the support hit resistance you have this rounding bottom or even double bottom pattern touched the support got to resistance and now we have this double bottom where we did touch the support back in november and so the expected move obviously is resistance remember trend is your friend until the end now i would like to eventually see this resistance broken because I do think that that will then start the bull rally at least to previous highs that we saw back in June leading up to the having in May right that is the traditional route that we see before havings we've only had a couple of havings before but that is usually what we see where you know there's a crash obviously we crashed to 31 3200 early 2019 and then a gradual rally followed by an accumulation phase and then a gradual rally once again now in the short term while with while we're within this trend you can play the swings and i do send out these swings on the trade alerts and if you're adept at leverage trading you can really make the most out of this you see that there's a series of longs and shorts that i sent out alerts for because you can essentially play the resistance the clear resistance points that you see here which are usually at around the moving averages or one of the fib levels etc so with risk management knowing where to set your stops a little bit of guts and knowing how much leverage to use not going crazy overboard you can really make the most out of these movements so you can short for the short term for instance for the few times that we were stopped at the 50 ma and then once we crossed above the the 50 ma you can essentially set a long taking profits at the 100 ma like i said i think we will see a little bit res of resistance here at the 100 ma although the volume is great and we could make a run for the resistance of this descending channel within the next couple of days that's not out of line and i do feel like we will see some resistance here because we do have this line here right so this was uh resistance going back to november and that coincides with the line of the descending channel so now you have double confirmation you have confluence that this right here is a resist is a potential resistance point and if we look at the fib let me just uh reverse this since we're doing an uptrend that is around the 0.5 level as well so we have the 0.5 level we have the trend line right and then we also have the larger trend line the resistance of the descending channel that is a point of confluence there the 200 ma rests at a little bit above 9k now in the next few months i do see us breaking this ascent this descending channel resistance and if you go back to the weekly you'll see that we formed a golden cross here uh between the 50 and the 100 on my chart the 50 is the orange line and the 100 is the yellow line right so over the weekly those tend not to get invalidated so quick right because you you're dealing with candles that have a lot more data and then these are weekly candles as opposed to daily candles Th these moving averages tend to move slower and things such as golden crosses and death crosses are a lot more valid on longer term charts so that's why i think it'll be soon before we break the 
the resistance of the descending channel. Now, I'm not one for time prediction, so I can't tell you if it's going to be, you know, January 25th or February 12th or whatever. But, you know, within the next few weeks, I'm not really concerned with that. Again, I'm only concerned with with levels. That's how I trade. I, I don't care by what date something happens. That's not conducive to, to good trading. All right, so that's Bitcoin. Follow the trade alerts if you want access to those levels that I send out regarding the short-term and long-term moves. Now, with regards to the markets, the market is really waiting to see how this shakes out, right? This potential unrest between the US and Iran. And obviously that has implications throughout the, the Middle East and the rest of the world, right? Because you have China, you have Turkey, you have Russia, and then obviously what's going on in Iraq. So it, it's not just a conflict between US and, and Iran. It, it has implications all throughout the world. And that also has implications on commodities and markets, right? So gold, I'll, I'll focus on gold, oil, and the stock market. The stock market just needs any little reason to tank. And that's because we're hitting all time highs. Everyone is is waiting for that catalyst, right? Traders are traders and market makers are uh, waiting on, on, on shaky ground for that catalyst that's going to bring down the market and definitely a world conflict, especially with a very dangerous foe like Iran and a very capable foe like Iran can definitely bring the markets down. So you see the markets are really, they, they clearly are reflecting a period of uneasy uncertainty. And then you see gold hitting a seven year high. We're in GLD, by the way, that's part of the portfolio that's been a part of the portfolio. And I did send out a trade alert for that. Obviously you get uh, alerts for stocks and crypto, and we just added options as well. As a matter of fact, our Amazon option, now that Amazon is back over $1,900, our Amazon option is up 20% just in a matter of a little over a week because I sent that out just right after Christmas. And if you want to learn how to trade options and you're not sure, then I definitely recommend getting the one-on-one -on -one sessions with me. I do only take a handful of those every month. And I, obviously, it's not just focused on options, but trading in general, so stocks, you know, crypto, commodities, options, futures, etc. And you get three one hour sessions with me over a video conference. Again, I only take a handful of people sign up. Same link is also in the description. Anyway, back to gold. So we are at a seven year high. Now, what do I think will happen with gold? The, the reason that gold is up is because one, it, it started obviously with the, the bull rally it just intensifying, right? Just breaking all time highs. And a lot of traders and funds are wary of what might happen with the markets once they, they start reaching these astronomical unreal levels, right? The expectation is that we'll see a drop. And so really gold was in an accumulation phase. And now we're seeing even more accumulation as the tensions flare up between Iran and the US. I do think it's relatively an easy projection to say that gold will hit 1600. We're at, fi we're at 1570 right now. And there definitely is some, uh, you know, some resistance at 1600 or potential resistance level at 1600, which is this trend line again, going back seven years now. And depending on what Iran's next move is, we could see gold at 1700 very soon. And by very soon, I mean this year. And don't forget that there is the election coming up in 2020 as well. Now, oil if you look at uwt which is the 3x oil etf that we've actually been playing for most of 2019 it's been a very easy thing to trade you know hitting support we buy it hits resistance we sell hitting support buy it hit resistance we sell and aside from selling we, we've also been engaging in the counter or the opposite trade which is dwt which is the inverse oil etf right so you can play both sides of the market and profit heavily and we've made over 100% profit on on oil in 2019. Now, I think it's a little bit of a dangerous game because we don't know what is going to happen, right? In in the Middle East, we could see a period where oil does break this resistance level that we've held since May, right? And it goes we start shooting towards $80 a barrel again. Currently we're at around 70, but we start you know, shooting for $80 a barrel again. So the safe play right now is to stay out of oil until we see how the situation shakes out. 
And then after those events happen, you can speculate on oil once again. If tensions start easing up, then DWT would be a very easy play here. The inverse to this, right? Because if you look up DWT, it's actually at a low currently. If there is some sort of truce or some sort of peace talks or, or Trump eases up on, on his rhetoric, then we could easily see DWT move up to $4 again. And that would be just from this level up to $4 would be a pretty healthy trade. I mean, we're talking about almost 30%. So we don't need to jump the gun. We don't need to risk it. I do think that oil is, is at a very tenuous situation right now, just like stocks and gold are, right? So the relationship is this. Stocks go up, oil and gold go down, and vice versa. And that all hinges on investor confidence, right? So if there is uncertainty in, in the global markets and you see stocks take a dive, oil prices will likely increase because of the region and the players involved in the turmoil. And gold will try to find support at seven year highs as scared investors take their money out of the equity market and put it into precious metals. And yes, there are ways that you could play all of these, right? There are inverse ETFs, there are uh, leveraged ETFs, you can short certain things, you can long certain things, but sign up to the trading group where I will keep you posted on all of these things, how I'm playing it. 2019 has been an insanely successful year for us, and I'm proud to make a lot of people a lot of money. So sign up if you want access to that. One more piece of news, Tesla has become the most valuable car company in the history of America. That's good for us because we do hold Tesla, bought it at the dip at around 332 up 41 percent on tesla that's aside from the options plays that we did on tesla which are up hundreds of percentage points it looks like tesla's gigafactory in china is on track and they did also have some pertinent updates regarding the model y tesla is just currently on a tear really hurting the feelings of a lot of analysts and market pundits who want tesla to fail because they've been screaming for the public to short Tesla. And as you can see, it's been overbought for a long time, but it, it just keeps going up. Like I said earlier, I do think that Tesla has a viable $500 price target in 2020, obviously barring a major market crash, but it is very realistic that Tesla gets to $500 or somewhere around there. Anyway, that is it for this video. Go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Hit that notification bell. If you want access to the trade alerts, the options, stocks, crypto, link is in the description. If you want one-on-one -on -one training with me, same link is also in the description, so sign up now. Leave a comment, leave a thumbs up, stay safe out there traders, peace.